Get ready for the awesome music. That wasn't what I was talking about. That's why it's so good. Hello. May I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, Correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, we'll be ready before you try that. Public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. New guest needs and building. Facility rating is now affected by restroom coverage. Place restroom in your guest building and satisfy their needs. Okay. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was so funny. Bring dinosaurs from the Jurassic era to the Jurassic World. Hand creation level the incubation modification release dinosaurs in the park. We have directed two enclosure fences. Hmm. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> Because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Uh, sure. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. I can do that. Now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Do, do, do. Uh, okay. Let's incubate a dinosaur. Strathumius. The machinations of the ambitious. Undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Nothing. Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. Oh, Mr. Goldblum. You kinda phoned it in on this one, but that's okay. It's just a video game. Incubation failed. So they have a chance to, to fail. Release dinosaur. Life, it begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors. Genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, 
And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. Oh, he's cute. Isn't he cute? Well, let's release your friend. You get a second friend to play with. Yay. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Well, let's go with uh, science. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Expedition Center obtained dinosaur fossils and amber by dispatching dig teams to sites around the world. Okay, so you want what you want me built in this area? I can do that, I guess. Da, 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 da. Okay, I got that song. I got Jurassic Park theme stuck in my head now. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take a person. Wonder what looks better. The upscale TAA or the TAA. I think regular TAA looks better. People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. I don't like Complete this guy. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Hmm. Request contract. New contract. Expedition map. What an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure okay. life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us and to me. So you want me to get you some Triceratops DNA and you'll pay me a million dollars? An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Hmm. Select the dig site, exhibition will display our country, set up dig team. So we're looking for a triceratops. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Well, this has 44%. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. All right, we'll send that. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Me? Don't disappoint. I love dinosaurs. Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Extract fossils to build genomes for each dinosaur. 
Viable genomes lie to create dinosaurs at Hammond Creation Lab. Expedition sometimes bring back extra finds and we sold for cash. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Oh, rain. Beautiful rain. It's rainy. Choose a contract. Well, I'll keep doing science contract. I've got a new opportunity with the science division, if you're interested. And you should be. All right, I will get a couple more dinosaurs. This advanced mathematics here. We just want to make sure we have an accurate count of the dinosaurs. And obviously I'm not doing it. That leaves you. Excuse me? Research. Genetics research. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Research allows you to improve your expanding multiple aspects of your facilities. You can research new and improved genes to modify dinosaurs with. Some have research replication requirements where they can become available. Splice this gene will create dinosaurs with gray green skin patterns. Glasses. Interesting. Butterfied fence. Research. Building upgrades. Increase the total power output. Upgraded power station by 50%. Reduces 5% risk of power outage. Earthing units reduce the risk of power outage by 15%. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, DNA screen increased dino variability attempts in an upgraded Hammond research lab. Maybe that one. Game looks sick. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's definitely better now with all the updates and stuff. Anyway, I don't have enough for Triceratops, so I'll have to wait. Oh, they're coming back right now. Let's check out the fossil center. Extract DNA. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Okay. That takes about 30 seconds. Let's go check on our little friends over here. Uh, how do I find your information? The statistics there is. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and food. I tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Well, let's see. Has closures. We need some feeding. Feeders. Herbivore feeder. Well, I think I'll put it, uh... Put it right there. I need to eat some food. Mmm, delicious food. Alright, let's extract that DNA. And that one. And then that one. Continue that one. And that one. And that one. Get them all going. We need some more Triceratops DNA, so let's go grab some over there. $150,000 for a feeder? Well, it's feeding dinosaurs. You don't want to go in there. 
You want people to go into the cages as little as possible when there's frickin' dinosaurs with frickin' laser beams on their frickin' heads, you know? You gotta be careful. Let's make another di dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. All right, well, I'll build a hotel. Operations. Yes. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. A hotel? Well, I guess I'll put a hotel... Right there. I guess hotels will make the guests come and say hello. Another friend. A Struthiomimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're friends. They're talking. Oh, they're hanging out and talking with each other. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, you're making a joke. I thought they I thought they legit made a graphics update for Parkosaurus. I was like, what? That's cool. Oh, no. You're making it funny. Okay. I see that. Okay, we should be able to afford to make Triceratops. But they are freaking expensive. They are very expensive. Give props where props are due, and you slayed this building contract. I tried. Uh, just says hotel. Did I try the, the return to the Jackson Park DLC? Not yet. I'll check that out. I playing the base game and to relearn how to play. It's been a while. It's been a long while since we did this one. Spice and Gene increase the attack and defense traits. Hit Viper Day increases the offense and best defense. Lifespan and resilience. Let's try that one. Yeah, I haven't played since launch, so I forgot how all this stuff works. Alright, Triceratops almost done. And it will be two more dinosaurs to fulfill our other contract. Like us, different dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> Feeders dispense spends food on edible SERP uh, schedule. Cutting and lefters. Feeders must be restocked correctly by ranger teams. Large dinosaurs eat more than small ones. Sharing a feeder among too many dinosaurs may result in starving dinosaurs. Dinosaurs with 0% water food will uh, 
will die of starvation or dehydration. Well, okay then. Alright. Okay, they both they both lived. Triceratops time. Look at her. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations. Sorry, dinosaurs. But we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. Mm-hmm. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me... Who are we? You. I'll discuss this with her later. Well done, you. You, woo, or two? Okay, I probably need a second um, feeder. So they don't have to fight over it. And there we go. Oh, look at him drink water. Isn't that cute? You like that Jeff Goldman's willing to do this game? Anyone's willing to do anything, he's gonna know funny. I'm sure they pay him quite a bit. Not like he did out of the kindness of his heart. Like, he was probably paid handsomely by uh, the uh, game people. Construct an operational ranger station. Ranger station. Do they want it in, in, in there? Does it have to be in that little little space they want? Put it over here then. Just like life, I find a way. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Power station red. I'm Owen power Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment That's to the That's not dinosaurs. him. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. I think they, uh, they couldn't afford him because he's way more expensive now. Power is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. Thank you, Indara, for the five gift subs. All right. Substation distribute power to nearby buildings. Share a substation get power using pylons. Okay, we need to research the power station upgrades. An offer just came our way. Don't let it sit too long. Construct guest shelters. Increase total shelter coverage to 10%. Let's see. I need to research power upgrades. Go 
building upgrades. Okay, you switch that one. Yeah, they, they they have the licenses to the movies, which includes likeness to the characters in the movie of the time, so they can use Chris Pratt's image and Jeff Goldblum and stuff. But luckily, Jeff Goldblum actually did the game because he's way more affordable than Chris Pratt right now. Yes. Birdsey's shelter. So we'll have a little emergency shelter in case, you know, something happens. Not that anything ever would, because when you raise dinosaurs, like pets, nothing ever bad happens. Ever. It's perfectly fine. Let's make a second power station. <laughs> All right, we'll connect it to there. Take the road from there to there. And that should help us for now. I haven't tried any of the DLCs, so I don't know if any of them are any good. I hear the Jurassic Park one's really good, but everything else is kind of like, can live without it. I only have $50,000. Okay, that helps. The science division thanks you. And so do I. Well, that is great, but I need more money. No matter please. what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. Uh, thanks. How about, uh, entertainment contract? Take this contract. It's a good one for both of us. Well, that's fine. Pretty sure I went into 1.5 stars. Need a little bit more Triceratops DNA. I also need some more money. The guests need like shelters and stuff to look at the dinosaurs. No, I guess not. How are they viewing the dinosaurs? I don't see like guest guest walk-ups or anything. Oh, there is viewing gallery. Uh -huh. I got it, there it is. Okay, there we go. Now we need some power. I think we'll put this substation probably in the small part where things are harder to build. And we'll connect it like that. Perfect. Uh, let me summarize every Jurassic Park movie. Dinosaurs are in the cages. Ah, oh, no, they're not anymore. We're dead. The heroes escaped. The end. Uh, 
That was a good one. Sorry. You know, every time you see dinosaurs in a Jurassic Park movie, they're going to get out of wherever they are. It happens every time. Without fail. Every time. So, you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with? The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. Shouldn't mm -hmm. dinosaurs be viewed by guests in pre facility rating? Use a combination of viewing galleries, viewing platforms, monorails, gyrosphere's cover your enclosures. Ooh. Fancy. Are there any guests in there? It's very rainy right now. 36 guests are inside. Can I see them? Oh, I see one lady and one lady there. I need some more triceratops DNA. Try again. Okay, you want chat? Give me some DNA. I need some prehistoric DNA. My advice: take this contract. Use Ranger Team to take a photograph of a dinosaur eating from a feeder. Tourists love their photos. It's a way to prove to the folks back home that, yes, they did indeed see dinosaurs. This division has photo needs as well. Uh, okay. I would like a new contract. We'll do, um, security. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Uh, okay. Increase time for sort of visibility to 50%. Well, if I can afford one more viewing platform, I could do that. But they are expensive. Well, he said exploit blatantly because that's exactly what they're doing. Yes, he admitted it. <laughs> 